What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about one of the top 250 players in ranked on Modern Warfare 2 and how he has come out and admitted to cheating but also gone into detail about how PC checks cannot prove the cheats he uses. This is definitely very interesting and I'm looking forward to going through the video with you guys today. So let's crack on with the video. Just for everyone's aware, the original video is from Retix with 15.9k subscribers. I'm going to hit the subscribe button now. And if you guys want to go and check out the video, the full video, I'm going to link it in the description below. But for now, let's get into it. He's shut down by hackers. <laughs> Somebody in my chat said, report that Luther. Yeah, that's going to do something, guys. That'll show him. That'll show him, guys. This is insane. He's on a 15 kill streak right now. Oh, my God. Oh my! In this gameplay, I'm playing against the number one hacker in Modern Warfare 2. He was blatantly hacking. He didn't even try to hide. Oh, he says, he says. It's kind of crazy to actually see streamers and pro players complain about cheaters in the game, right? Because for a very long time, that didn't happen. Especially through Warzone 1 and, and Modern Warfare 2019. You know, we didn't really see that level of people complaining, right? Because... What would that do? That would only broaden the problem. And if the game hasn't incorporated an anti-cheat at the time, then what else is going to happen? Nothing much. It's pretty much showing Loser! that there's a big a cheating problem in the game, sorry right? For yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. You make me sick, you big baby. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, try playing Warzone normally, and I shot. But then I saw you could easily download hacks, and I was like, oh my god. Stop it. Where they need And this genuinely shows the uh, mentality, just although it's in a sort of jokey manner. That clip right then definitely shows the mentality of a lot of people. And there was a big there was a big sort of question mark at the start as to whether or not it was just a skill gap caused by, you know, a pay pay to win really. You know, PC players being able to go into the same lobby as PlayStation and Xbox players because console originally could only have what 70 field of view with I think 80 or 60 FPS depending on the HDMI lead that was used and you were going up against PC players who had like up to 200 uh, FPS with 120 field of view and the refresh rate was just like astonishing compared to PlayStation and Xbox so that's sort of where this argument came where a lot of people defended streamers who were cheating by saying, no, they're just on PC, get better, you know, move over to PC instead of staying on console. And that was the big argument. And honestly, I think the crossplay made a lot of console players switch over to PC and get them $30 a month downloads. Honestly, that's what it feels like. Need to be as far as the anti cheat goes, because that was single handedly ruined the whole ranked experience. Call of Duty moving to crossplay back in 2019 proved to be a great decision. The player base skyrocketed, and during the pandemic, it gave many people an opportunity to play with friends on all different platforms. This didn't come without. I would say that the only thing with that is that because of the pandemic, I think that's one of the things that really, you know, helped the player count be a lot higher than it would have done you know if we weren't in a pandemic at the time would mw 2019 and warzone 1 have hit as good as it did no it wouldn't have done would it still have hit good of course it would and it would have been because of the crossplay, allowing people to play with all their friends no matter what platform they're on but one problem that stuck out to me and this is something that a lot of people who switch from console to pc will understand is that they will have watched streamers playing on PC and been like, oh my god, I wish it was that good. How do you do it? And then the streamer will be like, oh, I'm on PC, 120 field of view, 200 FPS. So then they switch to PC and realize that they're not that much better than they were on PlayStation. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a 1KD player becomes a 1.2KD player. And then they start to realize, actually, you know what? Something's not right with that streamer's gameplay. I think they're up to no good, and then they download cheats and have a little go. Yeah, that's exactly what it is they're doing. Without issues, of course, like PC players getting better frames, an FOV slider, and better audio and visual capabilities. That led to many console players feeling left out, as though the playing field was no longer equal. This debate could go on forever, even to this day, as- But that is actually a correct debate, and console players are in the right in saying that it wasn't an even playing field. How can it be an even playing field when people on PC 
are able to get higher frame rate as well as getting a higher field of view and a better refresh rate everything about pc gaming at the top end at least even a mid-range pc could perform better and give you a better gaming experience than a playstation 4 or an xbox one at the time in warzone 1 and it still stands to this day on warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 as many people on console still claim that if they had a pc they would go from three kills per game to 22. sure terry we believe you but the much bigger issue beyond this is something that has been rooted in call of duty unfortunately since at least the original modern warfare and was inadvertently a staple to the franchise all the way up until the eighth generation of consoles released when the ps4 and xbox one did a tremendous job with their firewalls Probably, I don't actually know the exact terminology, but to put it in layman's terms, Activision spent their time, money, and resources into fixing their servers and adding additional defense against cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course they did. Of course they did. Okay, obviously that's not true. It was actually thanks to Sony and Microsoft that the console hacking problem was fixed, and to this day is still fixed, for the most part. I mean, cheating on console... Actually, they've actually been able to jailbreak the PS4 now, but it's only the old generation consoles that are able to jailbreak and, you know, incorporate those cheats with, with the aimbot and the wall hacks. So if you see somebody on PS4 who's running around, you know, dropping 50 kills, question it. Console isn't currently a thing. Now, of course, the Cronus Zen is a different story. And yes, that is absolutely cheating, too. But I'm referring to hack menus and things of that nature. But if you use a Cronus you should retire and sell your console. Anyways, that brings me to the main point today. That being the main issue caused by crossplay. PC players having... I think this is about to get into the whole um, top 250 ranked player now, who's, by the way, name is Light. And he didn't actually get exposed for it, I don't think. As far as I'm aware, the story goes that Light actually admitted to cheating and said basically, yeah, I am. Everybody is. Um, and I would pass a PC check. That's the gist of it. I've not seen this video yet, by the way. I'm watching it for the first time today. The guy's making some very great points. So like I said earlier, guys, go and check out his full video and go and subscribe to his channel as well. Easy access to endless hacks from what feels like millions of different providers, and they rarely get caught. It seems like they only get caught if they accidentally show their hacks on stream. Even though Ricochet Anti-Cheat was hyped up as the ultimate savior for Warzone and Call of Duty, but as it turns and honestly, right, like, this guy's just said they only get caught if they show, show their hacks on the stream. And that's right, by the way, that's the mentality a lot of these top streamers have. You could literally track people through walls 15 times in one game. And just be like, it's just good game sense, it was audio cues, I was tracking the audio, right? And these are all excuses that the top streamers have come up with. So now even people who are blatantly cheating copy those same excuses that the top streamers have used. And then it, it works, because unless there's a cheat menu, or unless wall hacks pop up on stream there is no solid proof and that is only because of what these guys say but you will see the same streamers stating someone is cheating off one moment of them being tracked through a wall do you know what i mean but hey listen big she anti cheat doesn't really do much even to this day after almost two years of it being in the game or longer than two years i can't remember turns out you won't believe this as if it couldn't get any more embarrassing for activision one of the top 100 ranked players named Light top was 100. apparently a streamer as well who often posted tweets bragging about winning cash prize tournaments in Modern Warfare 2 and he had vouchers from multiple notable Modern Warfare 2 players and he admitted to cheating. And not only that, he said he passed every PC check that he received. But for those who don't know, a PC check is when usually it's an admin from a competitive site like Checkmate Gaming or CMG and they take one thing I will say, the CMG, when they do their PC checks, obviously they have to abide by certain laws, right? Unfortunately, you know, privacy and things like that, they have to abide by all those things. So a PC check is very minimal from the likes of CMG. That's not their fault, as far as I'm aware. I believe that they have to sort of sit within the confines of certain laws and regulations and rules. But if somebody like it's Happer, who, who has certain programs he uses to scam PCs. If he was to have done a PC check on Light, would he have found something as well? Or do we think Light would have been able to bypass that? That's a question mark over that one. 
and I would actually like to see that happen. To see whether or not Happer's method, Happer's method would actually be able to uh, pick up the cheats that Light was using. Take over a user's PC to check every potential avenue for cheats. A PC check will almost always catch someone who has cheated. Even if the cheats were uninstalled and deleted or hidden, the PC check's always able to find that due to using different various methods and looking through a computer's files. Well, at least that's that's what we thought. We thought it was foolproof, but as it turns out, Light released a video on his Twitter and it's very short, showcasing how easy it is to go into your PC and completely hide the hacks in a way that makes it virtually impossible to catch the cheaters. Mind you, this is a guy who said a few different interesting things we're going to talk about. So I'll occasionally be putting his twit longer on the screen from when he came. It's definitely interesting to know that somebody's been able to bypass all of the Checkmate Gaming and uh, PC checks. This should definitely let it sink into you now that everyone could be cheating. Absolutely anyone. You could have a friend and guess what? He could be cheating. You don't know because he's not told you. You don't know because a cheat menu hasn't popped up. You don't know because a PC check didn't catch anything, right? So even if a top streamer who's been accused, who's got blatant aimbot in their gameplay, let's say Zelena, for example, he's got blatant aimbot in his gameplay, so have multiple others. Same with wall hack situations with Zelena looking off to another monitor, using another monitor or ESP wall hacks or a 2D radar. But would he pass a PC check on CMG? Would he pass a PC check if one is even done for the World Series of Warzone Finals? And these are the things you need to let sink in. There is so much corruption going on in the gaming world that even a PC check can be bypassed. There are always methods for these cheaters to hide what they're doing because there is so much money to be made by cheating and not getting caught. It's that simple. If you are entering into hundred thousands of dollars worth of tournaments every year, on every Call of Duty game and playing wager games on a regular basis, damn right you're gonna do everything you can to hide them cheats, right? Came out and admitted to cheating. So the first interesting part about it is that he says not only were his PC checks clean while he was hacking, but he also was monitor camming on stream and it never really seemed suspicious to most viewers. Number two, he says he has minimal knowledge on PCs and that he's known how to hide these hacks for months, meaning Obviously, other people have known for months, maybe longer, and him not knowing much about PCs means that maybe someone who knows a bit more could continue to hide it even better. Number three. Well, here's the thing. You'll probably find that the person providing the cheats to this guy has actually said, listen, if you want to not get caught, this is how you hide your cheats. Bang, bang, bang. And you know what? It's all a part of the purchase. It's all a part of the process because these cheat developers don't want to have their cheats known as ones that have been detected. So they will do everything for their customer base, their clients, their cheating clients to be able to hide their cheats for as long as possible. And it's crazy to think about, but majority of these cheats are still able to bypass the Ricochet anti-cheat. The only ones that aren't really bypassing it are the ones that are very, very cheaply made or copy and paste jobs of old cheats that don't really work. These are his words. He said, quote, as long as PC COD is a thing, there will never be a day where PC COD is safe, end quote. That's pretty scary. And now number four to me is the most interesting thing. And this is the last. I just want to say about that as well. I want to touch on that. PC gaming or PC COD is not safe. But right now, due to crossplay being a thing, it's not just PC COD that isn't safe. It's all COD because Xbox, PlayStation and PC COD is not safe because of crossplay. PlayStation can be safe. You can turn crossplay off and play in PlayStation only lobbies. Xbox don't really have that luxury. Although the options there, not many people know about it. Therefore, they're not able to get into Xbox only lobbies. It would be great to have console only crossplay and PC can go and just die a miserable death whilst cheating in, in amongst themselves, right? Because they won't have the benefits of dropping 50 and 60 kills against console players anymore. So most people will probably switch back to PlayStation or Xbox. That's one. He said, and I quote word for word, not gonna name drop anyone, but just know, even people y'all praise are not safe. So obviously, to sum up that last line, Light is indicating that even well-known popular streamers are hacking. Now, we know that most casual gamers seem... <sighs> well-known popular streamers are hacking. Color me shocked. Right, not really shocked at all, because let's face it, it's been apparent for a very long time. There have been multiple of them 
who've actually been permanently banned by the game developers. Bye bye 5x, Magnificent, Torva to name but a few. And there are so many others who we've exposed on this channel who've ended up being permanently banned or who've ended up showing their wall hacks or who've ended up popping up a cheat menu by mistake after we'd exposed them and they denied cheating. There are so many streamers out there cheating, but they are all in amongst each other. They're in their little inner circles chatting with each other and they know that they can just laugh it off. Do you know why? Because their communities will eat it up. You'll probably find even if they come out and admit it, their communities will still support them. At least 60-70% of them anyway. Because they don't really care. They're there for the entertainment factor and that's it. They enjoy watching that person. And a lot of people have, well, they're, you know, committed by sending multiple donations over the course of the, you know, the span of that streamer's career. So they're invested heavily financially. So they don't want to take a loss on this one. So I would definitely say this video is a great one. I would definitely go and check it out, guys. It is linked in the description below. So make sure you do go and check it out and subscribe to their channel. Um, and yet, like, basically just come out, exposed himself, and then exposed a lot of other people. And he knows full well there are a lot of people out there cheating. And he was top 100 in Modern Warfare 2 ranked. Let that sink in. How many others in the top 250, top 10,000 in Modern Warfare 2 ranked are cheating? How many are cheating in Warzone? <laughs> Pretty much everyone on PC, yeah? That's the way you've got to look at it. That was definitely a very well put together video. I'm glad we were able to react to it here today. Um, so like I said, go and check it out. It's great to see that somebody has actually come out and exposed themselves. No real reason for him to do that. But Light decided, yeah, I've, I'm done with COD. I've had enough of it. He's probably sick of that guilt feeling in his stomach from cheating for money in tournaments. And he's decided to just hold his hands up. But he, he's come out and said that he's been able to bypass all the CMG and other tournaments, uh, PC checks. So he's bypassed all of that, as well as being able to bypass Ricochet Anti-Cheat throughout. Let it all sink in, guys. This is somebody who made it to the top 100 in ranked play on Modern Warfare 2 and maintained that status for a while and did not get banned and did not get exposed by anybody but himself. Let it sink in. Now think about your favourite streamer, and if they're on PC, I'd be wary. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you guys want to get in touch with me about any streamer, no matter how big or small, you can reach me over on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p 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 Peace!